It's Prince Harry as you've never seen him before, taking a double-decker tour around L.A. with James Corden. It's the first time I've been on an open-top bus. Is it really? Yeah, not, no. Not really allowed to. Harry is totally charming as he partakes in afternoon tea. James, you've got carpool karaoke. Yeah. Maybe I can do English tea on the 405. English tea on the 405. Why not? Get it on Netflix. An absolute winner. That would be cool. The Queen may not be amused with his language, though, as they encountered freeway congestion in L.A. Henry Winkler. <laughs> Guess tea on the 405 is not a good idea. <laughs> Clean it up, Harry. Next stop on the tour, the house featured in the popular 1990s Will Smith sitcom, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Do you remember the song? Now, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. Now, take a minute. And sit right there. Sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Look at you. Gordon tries to convince Prince Harry to buy the house, so he FaceTimes Meghan Markle to get her on board. Hey, Meghan. I've got to talk to you about something quite serious, OK? Tell me. I think this is where you should live. I don't think there's anything cooler. I think we've done enough moving. During the call, Meghan reveals her private nickname for Harry, which we're hearing for the first time. Has, how's your tour of LA going? Has? I didn't know what you were calling you Has now. No, you're not my wife, so. <laughs> we spoke to Sasha Robin, who met Harry when he went inside to use the bathroom. Sasha. Sasha's parents own the famous house. Seeing the Prince of, uh, of England come as a, to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air house was definitely uh, very exciting. Things got personal as Prince Harry shares the moment he knew Meghan was the one. The second date, I was starting to think, wow, this is pretty special. Why? Where did you go? Because we just, it wasn't so much where we went, it was just the fact the way that we, we hit it off with each other and we were just so comfortable in each other's company. He also talks about their historic decision to leave the UK and settle in California. It was never walking away. It was it was stepping back rather than stepping down. Right. Um, you know, it was a really difficult environment, as I think a lot of people saw. We all know what the British press can be like, and it was destroying my mental health. I was really? like, this is toxic. Yeah. So I did what any husband and what any father would do is like, I need to get my family out of here. Harry also reveals he watches the TV series The Crown. It's fictional, but it's loosely based on the truth. It gives you a rough idea about what, what that lifestyle, what the pressures of putting duty and service above family and everything else. 